students, welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to see you. I know that you are always on time and this is great. Always being on time here and ready to study English and practice. So how are you? How are you today? Fine. Fine. Oh. Excellent. Thank you. So I hope that you've have had a great time and also getting ready to continue with your classes this day and always, you know, thinking about learning in every single class and have the opportunity to like practice because that's one of the ways to feel really comfortable speaking and also practicing. That is one of the prejudices we have right here for this. Class. Don't forget always to take a short time to enjoy learning English. I know that English is like a not difficult subject, but it requires a process. Uh, for example, you can learn studying, reading information, reading a book, learning about vocabulary that you don't know, watching television, series, movies in English, and also listening to music too, that can help you to study and also work at the listening skills. And this is fascinating because we understand that that in this process, we can learn about English. So don't forget about that, and it's very important. I remember when I was studying English, um, I used to read some books. I didn't understand some words in English. And I was like, um, no entiendo qué significa esta palabra. And so I used to go with a dictionary, look for the word in English and Spanish, make a small list, and then memorize the words. So I was like learning word by word. Entonces, a medida pues que vas aprendiendo más palabras en inglés y vas comprendiendo ciertas cosas. Hay gente que dice, hey, que no entendí esto. Eh, posiblemente porque no ha aprendido la estructura gramatical para entender esa parte y también el vocabulario. Entonces, el vocabulario es importante. Mientras más palabras aprendas, if you learn more words, it will be easier for you to learn and also to understand what is a given in English or vice versa. So it's going to be a uh, priority to take a time for study. So let's begin. Uh, what do you remember about the yesterday class? I just want to ask you because I know you have been studying so hard and I know that you are very smart. So tell me, what do you remember we studied yesterday? Adjective. Okay. What kind of adjective? Can the ruler find out the R or more and plus adjective? Okay, what else? Yes. Okay, so we're talking about comparative adjectives. We were saying that there are some special rules that we studied about the 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 adjectives that we add er to make them comparative. For example, what kind of adjectives we made them comparative? Who wants to help me? Um, ¿qué adjetivos le, ¿A qué adjetivos le agregamos la ER? A los de una sílaba. Okay, the ones of one syllable, syllable right? Exactly. Thank you. And for example... Uh, when the adjectives have more than two syllables, to, oh, what what do we add to make them comparative? Do los adjetivos tienen más de dos sílabas? Uh, we uh, add the the words are more 
more that. Exactly, that's correct. So we add uh, more to make them, uh, in that case, uh, comparative because we cannot add ER. And also we studied in a briefly way some adjectives that are uh, specifically irregular. So in that case, the, the written form to make them comparative is a little different. So we will have a short backup related to this activity. So let's begin with this one. And also with the practice, we can memorize the, the roles and the structures here. Vamos a ver. Le vamos a dar acá. Y pues siempre hablamos acerca de estructuras. Vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a... Um, one second. One second. Oh my goodness. So it's disappear. I guess disappear. Vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Look at this. Okay, can you see the presentation now? Can you see the presentation? Pueden ver la presentación? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, le vamos a pedir a, yes. eh, a Claudia, Jocelyn, que nos lea la, la indicación. Uh, comparity adjective exercise first in the game with the comparity of superlative form of the adjectives in brackets to complete the following sentencing in English. Thank you so much. Right. So in that case, what we had to do is to take a short time to and think about the adjective, the, the ones we have in parentheses, and you made them comparative because we need to make them com comparative. So I'll give you this time to, to complete it. And later I will ask you for each one, right? So complete this exercise because it will be a review of the yesterday class and also we started some rules that can help you to reinforce what we have already done. So let's take a short time to complete this part and we will re revise this one, okay? Así que respondámoslo en este momento, le voy a dar unos minutitos y cuando pues alguien termine me dice, teacher, I finished.
Okay, are you ready? No yet? Yes? Ready. No teacher. Not yet, okay. Peter, what is the meaning? Hello? Section, section three. What is the meaning of seminar? Can you write it in the chat, please? In this chat? Can you write the, in the chat, in this chat, the word? And you, oh, you say the word ab, absent minded. Hello, hello, hello. And okay, yeah, uh, absent minded is when someone is distracted. Henry is absent minded than his sister. So the word in, in, in Spanish is like distracted, como despistado or distraído. So that's the meaning about about absent-minded so that is the um, that is the way in that part okay so let's check the exercise first okay ch uh, charts are what could be sorry sorry i just went make it small so i can also write the answers here oh uh, charts are what is the answer yes no no no, no. Number one? More dangerous. More dangerous. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna write it here so to to highlight it. So I will use capital to highlight the word, okay? Uh, in that case, so you can see it. More dangerous. In the same English, more dangerous. Okay, number two, um, William Shakespeare. What happened with him? More famous. More famous. Say with me, famous. Famous. Famous, right? More famous. So that's correct. So we got is more, and that is the word. Number three, help me with this. Number three. More absent, my dad. More? More. Absent-minded. More absent-minded. Yes. ¿Qué decíamos que significaba absent-minded? Distraído. Dis yeah, distracted. Distracted. So, absent-minded. Absento de pensamiento sería traducido letra por letra, ¿verdad? Um, ¿Cómo es una palabra compuesta? Las palabras compuestas tienen, pueden tener un solo significado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And number four, Tom is Father. more selfish. More unselfish, right? More selfish. That's correct. So it's more selfish. You know what is selfish? Egoist. No. Yes, that's right. Mm. Someone who always think about him or herself but doesn't think about others. Yeah. 
He is farther than he used to be last year. Is farther than. That's correct. The next one. Andrew seems to be a slimer. Slimer. A slimer. Slimer. Uh, then he was two months ago. <laughs> so that is the another word too. You can check that. Look at this context. And let's see the number seven. Walt. Walt is more impatient. More impatient. More impatient. Dia conmigo, impatient. 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 More impatient. More impatient. And I will say in Spanish, like, más impaciente. Nowadays. Now nowadays. 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 Nowadays es hoy en día. Mm -hmm. es, es, es más impaciente hoy en día de lo que solía ser. Cuando, eh, cuando él tenía, no, cuando, cuando estaba joven, era más joven, más joven, younger, younger, younger yes, more, more younger. Entonces ahí vemos, eh, vemos el superlativo, miren que interesante. So we will rate this one. You can see, it was younger. And yes. number eight. More attractive. More, more attractive. More attractive. That's correct. So we are talking about more attractive um, over here, like this. So our town is more attractive than Manchester. You can see that word. And the next one, it's the number nine. What is that? Uh, please, algún micrófono, creo que han dejado un sentido por ahí. Escucha ahí un ruido, feedback. Thank you. And the next one, number nine. What is that? Tom is more, more, more impulsive. Impulsive, more impulsive. Yes, that is another long adjective. So you can see here. Uh, look at this. So we have this part. And the next one. Um, this poem is more pathetic. More pathetic. Yes, that's yeah. right. More pathetic. That's good. Look at this. So it's more pathetic. And the next one. Your house more beautiful. is more beautiful. More beautiful. Yes, it's more beautiful. And the last, but not the least. Darker. Yes, it's darker. Darker. That's correct. So you can see, um, you can see here the comparative form of the adjectives. So that is it's good to, to know about that, right? So we can also compare this part. Equations. Questions or doubts or comments that you would like to sh share to the class? No questions? No? No question. Okay, no hay preguntas. No hay preguntas. Bien. Okay, vamos a continuar entonces con esto. Yo, 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 yo. Hi. Eh, ¿Qué viene? ¿Qué tema viene en adelante? que nos van a facilitar estos conocimientos. Mm, usted, ¿Tiene usted el manual? Eh, ¿El manual que está en la plataforma? Creo que sí. Ajá. No, 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 no. Bueno, pero... Ahí es, ¿cómo no? ¿Ahí ¿Ustedes lo tienen? No, pero... sí, 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 sale un manual, pero no lo he, no lo he visto. Ah, sí, este, quiero ver. If, if I have no, es que no puedo decir, no puedo decir que no lo tengo, porque sí, ya lo vi, ya lo revisé. Ah, este. Pero no, no, o sea, revisé la plataforma, pero no el, el, el mm. manual. 
Eh, nos funciona porque así podemos, por ejemplo, hacer un repaso. Eh, quiero ver si puedo accesar. En, creo que sí. Bueno, creo que ustedes no sé si podrán ver la plataforma así. Um, hay una parte donde dice Students Manual. Ahí dice como manual del estudiante. Entonces ya pues usted le da clic y ahí pues va a ver los contenidos eh, de pues prácticamente del material con el que estamos trabajando. Bueno, aquí tendría que aparecerles el manual. Pero como I'm charging a video, posiblemente por eso es que no me aparece, porque estoy creando un video que es bastante, un poquito pesado. Pero sí, aquí les aparece, ustedes lo descargan, ahí dice download. Entonces ustedes van a poder accesar a todo la, lo que son los contenidos que, que siempre reforzamos en la clase. Gracias. Yeah, ok. So, let's continue with the next part. All right, so we have the next activity. So I'm just going to share right now the link. Ahí está. Bueno, entonces vamos con el siguiente. Y vemos acá que nos deja una actividad. Let's see what activity is this. So we can do it together. And look at this one. And vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Recuerden también, por favor, tienen que tener su cámara encendida. Es algo que nosotros eh, siempre les pedimos porque en Safor Verifica todos los videos, verifica que sus nombres estén ahí y que ustedes aparezcan. Entonces, es algo que pues ustedes saben desde el inicio del nivel. Tienen que tener su cámara encendida. All the time. Ok, tenemos un writing in comparing prices. Writing, comparing prices. How much do these things cost in your country? Complete the chart and then compare the prices in your country with the prices in the U.S. For example, tenemos a newspaper in, in the, the price in my country. Usted va a poner ahí cuál sería el precio de un periódico in El Salvador. It says 75 cents a cup of coffee, a CD, and a paperback door, book, a paperback book. Many things are more expensive in my country than in the US state, United States. For example, a newspaper costs $1 at home. In the U.S. is cheaper. It's only 75 cents a cup of coffee cost. So you will like describe the prices of those articles. Y aunque ustedes no lo crean, eh, aunque ustedes, hay muchas cosas que en los Estados Unidos son mucho más baratas. There are some products, some things are more, are cheaper in comparison to Subler. The prices here, some products are, are more expensive. And for example, surgeries, the, the, everything is very expensive, but at the same time, there are some products that, of course, are cheaper here. Like, so, a variation. Por ejemplo, hoy están celebrando en los Estados Unidos the Thanksgiving Day, right? It's a special celebration that Americans have to thanks for everything that they have received, for anything that they have gotten, for many blessings that they have had during this year. And they complete that with an special, an special and very important dinner. Of course, that most most of the time Americans they are more fascinated to celebrate this one than Latin Americans. Um, hay muchos latinos que pues no mucho lo celebran porque saben que no es parte de su cultura, but they do it here. Also, the food it's sometimes cheap or expensive, so there are some things. Entonces vamos a verificar eso en este momento. Usted le va a poner los precios a esos productos y va a ver cuál es la diferencia. Teacher, 
Hello. Uh, what is a paperback book? In Spanish? Listen to me. It's like some things could be like magazines or small books, like dictionaries or some valuable books. I have one in my mind right away. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. For example, I have here is this is like a small book. It's like a paperback book. It's como un libro de bolsillo because it's small. So it's like in a big book, but it's a paperback book. Gracias. Okay, are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, so help me with that one. A newspaper in a subwoofer, how much is it? 50 cents. 15 cents. Oh, it's, so in that case, it's cheaper. In a subwoofer, it's cheaper than in the United States. Cheaper. It's cheaper. It's, it's cheaper. more cheaper. It's cheaper. And also, the difference also is that the, the, the newspapers are very big. That states are bigger. A cup of coffee. maybe be equal or more <laughs> more expensive in a subwoofer yes depends of the depends uh, the teacher depends of the place in my, here. in my opinion it depends of the place for if we talk about the general average, the, the in general, the cup of coffee in general in El Salvador? There is second, thirty. The price is, is minus. It's minus. Per, it is cheaper. Okay. It's more expensive in the United States. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. A C D. It's cheaper in El Salvador because I <laughs> because here only only we have uh como se como diría piratas en inglés pirateado uh, it could be illegal so on, on <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes because uh, <laughs> in this country only Comercializamos, ¿cómo se diría? Trade. Oh, we only pray trade. It is illegal. Trade. trade. Oh, it's cheap, of course. It's cheaper than the United States. What about a paperback book? It says seven dollars ninety-five cents. Maybe be equal.
Okay. Um, what, what, uh, what, what about the paperback book? So what can you tell me? Tell me the price. No idea. I, I, I have not. Bro. <clears throat> it's like $10, $7? 17, 17, 17, 17, probably, probably. 17, okay. 17 cents. The a paperback book, so it's cheap, it's cheaper. Okay, so it's, it's yeah, so depending on the, the prices of the book. Well, let's continue with the next activity. So look at this. Okay, so we have a reading. This is look at this one. A world, the world's online marketplace. Look at this one. Check these statements and you think are true. Look at that one. Then scan the article to check your answer. eBay is a place to buy and sell things. You can make friends on eBay. Please, um, if you have the microphone on, please hold it off. Check the microphones. Revisen sus micrófonos, gracias. Okay, do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bargain or a good buy? Then eBay is for you. eBay is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. With over 18 million members, eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites on the internet. People trade millions of different things on eBay's website, from cars to electronics to musical instruments. Here's how it works. A member puts an advertisement for an item on the website. Other members bid or offer money for the item. The person who bids the most money gets to buy the item. Then the seller sends the email to the buyer. Selling on eBay is easy, says Mike's text. He's the owner of a company that sells used computers. And he adds, I made friends on eBay. I think it's a very friendly place, but some people don't like it. I like the traditional way to shop is better, says Jen Feng, a student. I want to touch things, not see a picture of them, but whether you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. There are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Some people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. So look how interesting is that one. So there are different ways to buy, especially online. It's like very common like eBay. And some people say that buying online is good, right? Comprar en línea pues es bueno. Y es mucho más rápido, más práctico y todo. But there are some people like Jenny Feng, pues que si no toca el producto, pues no lo compra, right? No, no es lo mismo que tenerlo que verlo. Because sometimes there are some people that they buy some articles online. Hay personas que compran artículos en línea. Y cuando le llegan, nada que ver con lo que habían pedido. It's something different. So it's much better to know and see what you're buying instead of waiting one month or the time it takes to, to the delivery. And then you can see that one. So it's that is the activity. Entonces, vamos a leer el artículo y vamos a revisar nuestra información. Y por eso dice aquí, eBay is a place to buy and, to, and sell things. eBay es un lugar para comprar y vender cosas. You can make friends on eBay. Tú puedes hacer amigos en eBay. Or everyone likes eBay. O a todos les gusta eBay. So after this one, look at this. Después que leamos el artículo, vamos a, a responder las preguntas que están acá. La primera dice, then write the number of the paragraph where you find each answer. Usted va a escribir el número del párrafo donde usted encuentra cada respuesta. Está la, how many people use eBay? Eh, ¿Cuál sería ahí la, cuántas personas usan eBay? Usted tiene que verificar ahí en el artículo. What do people think about eBay? ¿Qué piensan las personas de eBay? La tres es, uh, how do you sell items on eBay? ¿Cómo, venden, ¿Cómo vendes los artículos en eBay? La D, what is eBay? ¿Qué es eBay? 
where, where can you shop on eBay? ¿Dónde puedes comprar en eBay? And what can you buy and sell on eBay? ¿Qué es lo que puedes eh, comprar y vender en eBay? Entonces usted va a leer el artículo, va a responder las preguntas y luego va a escribir el número del párrafo donde usted encontró esa respuesta. Por ejemplo, usted me dice en la respuesta 1, how many people use eBay? Usted escribe la respuesta y pone ahí eh, en qué número, en qué párrafo se encontraba esa respuesta. Eso es lo que va a hacer en este momento. Así que mientras usted trabaja en esto, vamos a pasar brevemente la asistencia. Um, ¿Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Yes? Sí. Yes. Ok. Yes. Esto lo vamos a hacer en grupos, pero quiero que ustedes avancen, eh, ya que vamos a pasar la asistencia. Entonces, I need to make sure that we are um, here to check the attendance. One second. Okay, let's check the attendance list and you will help me to answer. Okay, let's see. Adriana eh, Gretel Gonzalez. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Here. Agustin Alexander Santa Maria. Agustin. Agustín. Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Eh, Carmen Andrea Santos. Present. Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Eh, Denise Alonso Marinero. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present. Francisco Javier Orellana. Francisco Javier Orellana. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor. Gabriela María Peña. Gerson Vinicio Moreno. Present. Eh, Grendy Elisset Flores. Present. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jennifer. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Eh, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Carla Liliana Portillo. Carla Tatiana Villanueva. Present. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala. 
present. Um, Luis Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Margarita. Present. Um, Mayra Patricia Pérez. Present. Nerlin Haciel Flores. Present. Eh, Noé Alberto Calzadilla. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría. Wendy. Ok. Um, well, we will work in breakup rooms. Vamos a trabajar en los breakup rooms. Y usted va, va a compartir con sus compañeros las respuestas de este ejercicio. Así que vamos a formar los equipos. Y usted se une y comparte sus respuestas como grupo. Yes. This one. Ok. ¿Estamos listos? ¿Estás ready? Yes. Yes. Ok, let's go. Entonces, eh, leen el artículo y eligen las respuestas correctas. Colin y Flores no están grabando. Ok, I finish. Si avanzamos con las primeras. Sí, sí, porque si no, no nos alcanza el tiempo. Sí, la primera dice, How many people use the eBay? Uh, my answer is in paragraph number one, because mm -hmm. it's, uh, look, it's, it's, a, it's a place to buy and sell almost anything with over 18 million members. Uh-huh, 18 million members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or... 18 million members. Sí, entonces la respuesta sería párrafo uno. Sí. Ah, bueno, A. Hey. Párrafo número uno. Sí. Yes, yes, sí. Okay, uh, number uh, num number B. What do people think about the B eBay? ¿Qué piensan las personas acerca de eBay? 
it's very friendly place maybe um, cuál párrafo estaría la respuesta esa es la, la... Ah. En del... sí, no me acordaba que, que estaba poner el párrafo Sí, el número de párrafo lo que hay que poner acá. Entonces, en la pregunta B. El párrafo 3. Párrafo 3. Yo, yo tengo ¿Tres? selling and eBay is easy. Is easy. Sí. Es párrafo 3. Yes, me too. Párrafo 3. Ok. Entonces, estamos en la letra B. The answer is párrafo número 3. Yes. yes. Okay, and uh, the question number uh, number C, how do you sell items on eBay? Uh, number two, paraf paraf two. Million on different things. This, uh, how do you sell, como lo vendes en paraf two? Two. Mm, see, people trade millions of different teen on the eBay website. From cars to electronics to musical instruments. Okay, okay I, I this here how this work. A member put an advertisement for an item on the website. Other member did offer money. Sí, esa era la respuesta. ¿Cómo? Ahí está explicado. Entonces sería para for two. Two. Para for two. Uh -huh. Yes. Two. Eh, sé que eh, a member puts an advertisement for an item. On the website, other member bid or offer money for them. Yes, I, uno, I, uno, uh -huh, uno I had the, the paragraph two. Paragraph, uh, see, yes, paragraph two. Uh, line, the last line, the sixth line. The other and question. the letter D. Mm -hmm. uh, what is eBay? What is eBay? I think that it's a place to buy and sell all, almost anything. Okay, yes, yes. Or shopping online. Shopping online. Uh, the world on my smartphone selling e selling on device is easy could uh, could be the two answer Okay, eBay is the world online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. Any other answer? It's a market online. Shopping. Yeah. Shopping. Where is where is uh, to say shopping online or shop online? Um, Uh, 
And the other question, where can you shop on eBay? I Uh, people can buy anywhere in the world. In the paragraph four. Okay, so let's go back and I could see that you have been reading the article and that is, that is great. So let's socialize the answers we have together. And first we go with the, with the question and the answers. The first one, how many people use eBay according to the article? What information do you get from that? In the paragraph number one. And okay, and what is the answer? Do you get the possible answer for this? Over eight. Eight million members. Million, millions. Million members, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of people, definitely. It's a huge number. What about the letter B? Uh what do people what do people think about eBay? What do you get from that? Yes. What do people think about eBay? Uh, that people sell, selling is easy and it's a very friendly place. Easy and a very friendly place. All right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Thank you. And also, how do you sell items on eBay? What is the, the, the strategy? Tell me about it. What is the possible answer? Um, ¿Tienen esa respuesta o no la tienen? A member puts an advertisement for an item on the website. Excellent. Great job. That is great. That is great. So I have a product and I put it on the advertisement so people can see what I'm selling. What's the product? So I can say I'm selling a book. So people can see the book online with the picture and the description and the price and everything. Thank you. The answer is the part for number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the description about the place. Next one. And what is eBay, by the way? What do you get from what is eBay? What is eBay? Yes. Shopping online. Online marketplace. Exactly, online marketplace. Yes, you can buy and sell things. Where can you shop on eBay? Where can you shop on eBay? 
anywhere in the world. Exactly, because it's a worldwide, everywhere. And the last one, um, where can you shop, um, I'm sorry, what can you buy and sell on eBay? Yes? Yes. What can you buy and sell on eBay? Yes. ¿Qué se puede, puedes comprar y vender en eBay? In the product for number one, um, it's a place to buy and sell almost anything. Excellent, Francisco. Excellent, Francisco. That's right. So we are talking about you can buy a lot of things. You can sell a lot of things, a lot of products around the world. Okay, that is actually great, guys. Congratulations for the work done. And um, I'm just going to say continue working hard, practicing. Y pues nos veremos para la próxima clase. No se les olvide completar los ejercicios que corresponden en la plataforma. Y nos veremos para la próxima semana. Para que pues ahí puedan seguir practicando, seguir estudiando. Es un proceso y yo sé que pues ustedes van a hacer la diferencia. Ya que vamos a, vamos a estudiar en inglés paso a paso. Entonces, uh, that is all for today. Thank you so much. Teacher, yeah. I had a question. Ya. Yeah. Um, the exam... Eh, ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para hacerlo? Eh, ¿tiene, ¿Tienen ustedes el, la, la calendarización? ¿La tienen? Sí, nos toca la segunda semana, pero no sé si tenemos que completarlo ahora o podemos aún mañana. Eh, tienen uh, mañana hasta la, hasta la medianoche. Pero, ah, okay. sí, entonces, pero si lo pueden hacer ahora, pues háganlo, eh, ya que es importante pues, avanzar. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much and continue working. You can make a difference. Thanks. Good evening, teacher. Thank for Bye. the class. Good night. See you the next class. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.